Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple walking stick with tools you can find around the house. All right, so the first step is finding yourself a stick. Let's see what we can find. Perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do now that we've rounded up our piece of wood, is we're gonna use a hand saw. This is something you should probably be able to round up some form of, and we're gonna cut it down to a length that looks like what we're hoping for. Well, now that we've got our piece of wood ready to go, we can measure it for length and use a saw to cut off the branches. Now this can be a good opportunity to use one of the clamps that you found. If not, chances are you're going to be able to hold it by hand. Make sure you don't cut into the table and lightly press the saw against your branch. Move it back and forth until it cuts. Make sure you don't cut towards your hand and always have a firm grip on the saw and the workpiece. Now that you have your piece of wood free of branches but still covered in bark, uh, maybe the right length already, it's time to go ahead and start smoothing it out. So if you've got one of these, well this is the tool, but chances are you don't. So you could try and round up things like a chisel or a razor knife. So both of these things can be really useful for stripping the bark off of your piece of wood. Be really careful if you are working with anything sharp and make sure you never cut towards yourself. Let's go ahead and strip this piece of wood down. Now, if you don't have a draw knife and all you have is a rasp, now would be a good chance to give that one a try. So a rasp is kind of like a cheese grater. So just go ahead and run it lightly across the wood without really applying a lot of downward pressure. And it's just gonna skim off a little bit of material. Uh, if you've got a round one, that can get you into those spots you might not have been able to get with your draw knife. Now, if you're using a razor knife, make sure you're really careful. Never push towards yourself. I like to have my thumb on the back of it and just slowly carve away at some of the material. It's gonna take a minute, you got plenty of time. Uh, once you've got all the bark stripped off of your walking stick, you can start to shape yourself a nice handle for it. Sandpaper can be useful for this one. All right, now sanding can take a minute, so be patient with it. Hopefully you can find more than one piece of sandpaper, and if you're in a pinch, you could probably rub it on a rock, use a wood file, uh, just about anything. So, this pretty much concludes the how to make a walking stick. Hopefully you found enough tools to be able to crank this out from home, and even though you're not in the shop, stay creative. Thank you.